let's start. I've already imported the folder with all the assets you'll need. By the way, you can download all project-related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. First, select all these images and change the speed duration. I'm setting it to 10 frames. Now drag them to your timeline. With the first image selected, go to the effects panel and search for transform. Double click to apply. Now head to the effect controls panel. Move four frames forward and click the stopwatch next to position to set a keyframe. Move back to the first frame and drag the Y position value down until the image is completely out of the frame. Next, uncheck use composition shutter angle and set it to 90 degrees. Voila, you've got a motion blur effect. Now copy the transform effect and press A key to select all images forward, then paste the effect. For the timing, place your playhead on the first frame. Hold shift and press the right arrow key to move five frames forward. Then take all images one track up. I'm stacking the images five frames forward, one above the other. Once you're done, select all the images and nest them. Here's what it looks like so far but let's take it up a notch. Apply the basic 3D effect. Set keyframes for scale, rotation, swivel, and tilt. Now move the swivel and tilt keyframes a few seconds forward and take that scale and rotation keyframes to the last frame. At same frame, decrease swivel and tilt value. Move few seconds backward. Set the rotation to around 40 degrees and increase scale. If you're happy, take these keyframes to the first frame. At the end, you might notice a black background Simply increase the scale and adjust the position to fix that issue. You can always adjust the keyframes for any parameters you feel aren't quite right. Next, bring in the Iron Man image. Set keyframes for position and scale, decreasing the scale and positioning it toward the bottom center. Move the keyframes forward a few seconds, then scale it up and position it leftward. To smooth the animation, set the first keyframe to ease out then drag the second keyframe's handle to the left. Now bring in ink transition overlay on top of the Iron Man image. Then on Iron Man image, apply the track matte key effect and set the matte to video three, since that's where your overlay is. Switch the composite option to matte luma and check reverse to reveal the image on a black background. If Iron Man's shoulder is visible, simply scale up the ink transition overlay. Once that's done, hold Alt or Option key and duplicate the layers to Video Track 4. Replace the image with Hulk, hold Alt Option, and drag it onto the image layer. Make sure to adjust the matte setting for the overlay. Let's hide overlay and adjust the starting and ending keyframes for scale and position, but this time we'll animate it from right side. Once satisfied, enable the overlay visibility and check the result. You may need to extend the image duration and adjust keyframes. If you're with me so far, I'll repeat these steps for the rest of the images. For Ant-Man, I won't use the overlay. Instead, we'll go for a zoom out and fade in effect. I'll apply the same method to the next two images. But for Captain America, I'll keep it centered. For extra depth, let's add some text above Hulk. Adjust its size and position, then animate position, scale, and rotation. I think it's better to bring that text just above Iron Man, and then duplicate the same text layer just above Hulk. Change the text and tweak the keyframes for the new text animation. Next, duplicate the nested sequence and move all layers up one track. Add the Thunder Clouds overlay to track 2. Since the tracks have shifted, update the matte settings for all images accordingly. Let's change that Clouds overlay's blend mode to multiply. Move it forward a few frames, then apply the tint effect. Change the white color to a light green that matches Hulk. Now move few frames forward and as soon as Black Panther appears, cut the overlay and change that light green color to something purple. Similarly, with same steps, I'll add two more red and sky blue color. I think instead of that black color, it's better to set darker versions of same color. 
so let's do it. Once that's done, duplicate the nested sequence again. Select all this cloud's overlay and images. Then press Ctrl or Command D to add cross-dissolve transition and keep the starting transition short for each image. When everything is set, nest all layers. Now from Project Panel, create a color mat. Simply drag and drop on this frame and apply the ramp effect. Then set the black color to red and the white to a darker red. Click on Ramp to highlight anchor points. Next, change the ramp shape to Radial Ramp and adjust the anchor points for a smooth gradient background. With Type Tool, add this text. Let's change its font to Marvel. With that, you'll be able to add Marvel logo. Don't worry, I've already included this font within our assets. Let's adjust font size as well. To position in the center, switch it back to Selection Tool and by holding Control or Command key drag text towards center, unless horizontal and vertical dotted line is visible. Now let's animate text. Notice, password is click intro. Set keyframe on scale and increase it. Then after a few seconds, scale it down. Take this text one track up and duplicate the sequence. At same frame, cut and delete the first frames. Now on duplicated sequence, apply the track matte key effect and set the matte to video four, where your Marvel logo is. Move the playhead just before the end of animation and duplicate the logo. Again, cut and delete the first frames. With the layer selected, head over to Effect Controls panel and set keyframe on opacity. Take it to same frame where our scale keyframe ends. Coming back to first frame, set opacity to 0%. With that, you'll be able to add this smooth transition from video within text to white color. Finally, we can take it to next level by adding this paper flip sound effect along with dramatic background music. And this is what you'll end up with.